as I can tell. Oh, sorry, no, 60 points. Three times, yeah, three times 20, 60 points. So. Here we go, we're at our music question, one of my favorite questions, where I'll quote from a, a different song about cannabis, or sort of cannabis-related song, and uh, if anyone can tell me what song it's from, they get 20 fat points. So here it is, for 20 points, what song says, if he takes a sudden mania, Ryan. Reaper Man by Cap Calloway. There it is, Reaper Man! Yeah. Reaper Man! 20 man, points, man. Reaper Man. Uh, if, he takes you, if he takes a sudden mania, he'll want to give you Pennsylvania, is the, the line in Reaper Man. But uh, yeah, it's an uh, old song from the 1931. Holy cow, I, I probably should have known he'd know all that stuff. But uh, holy cow, Ryan uh, knows his old jazz music. And for those who don't realize it, there are a lot of old jazz cannabis songs from the 1920s and the 1930s. Louis Armstrong sang about cannabis, Cab Calloway. Uh, most of the most famous jazz musicians from early in the 1900s uh, used yeah. cannabis and used it quite openly as well. They, they really didn't have to hide it till the 1930s when they were being persecuted for it. So uh, the Peanuts crew uh, jumps back in the lead, wow. but uh, there's still lots of points left, so don't be giving up yet there, folks. And here we go with the next question here. I'd like to ask questions about hemp stores. Uh, there's lots of different products, which is usually the last question, but there's also lots of stores around all over Canada, uh, and the world for that matter, but uh, also here in, in, in Victoria. So tonight's uh, a specific question about uh, one of the stores that uh, me and my friends go to a lot that gives uh, members of the Cannabis Buyers Club, I believe, a 15% discount. Um, there's a number of stores that do that. They're listed in our newsletter. And uh, tonight's question is about Hemp & Company. For 20 points, what year did Hemp & Company start here in Victoria? Hey, sister. sister. Any of you guys remember when Hemp & Company sister. showed up? What hey. year? Sister. Ryan's going to guess. 1993. 93. No, it wasn't what? 93. It wasn't what? 93. So how did, I, you guys ready? What year did Hempton Company come in without any hints thing. to tie the game? Summer thing. Okay. Uh, two, summer thing. Okay, you did a clap. I gotta hear a clap or no one's gonna be happy. Okay. Yeah. 2000? No, it's not 2000. Um, I guess I... Just generally, you guys are closer. Uh, Sacred Herb was the first store in town. You might be getting confused with Earthenware, which was a store that my my, my friend owned uh, that uh, um, was uh, taken over by Fiber Options. That's sort of been the the, the, the Sacred Herb and uh, um, Earthenware uh, were, were the oldest sort of two stores in town. This is kind of the the third one to come in, and uh, it's at the lower end of Johnson Street, um, not quite to the Salvation Army on the left hand side, nor across the street from the Market Square. Um, it doesn't really stick out a lot, but uh, it's it's been there for, well, obviously a couple of years now. I don't want to say how many, because it's worth 20 points, so. so. 10 points, yeah, what's your guess, Ryan? 96, no, it's not 96 either. What's your guys' guess over here? I think 96 is the year Earthenware started up. That could be wrong. Okay, what's your guess here then? Okay, it's not 93, 96, or 2000. What? Somebody clapped here. 95. No, it's not 95. So, uh... Is it 97, 99, 2001, or 2002? Which one of these years did Hemp & Company open up a store here in Victoria? It actually opened up stores first in the Kootenays. I think the first one was in New Denver, and then they got one in Nelson. I think the New Denver store shut down. The one in Nelson's still going. Now they've got uh, two stores here in Victoria. Or maybe they shut down the one in Fernwood. But anyway, here's your options again, 97, 99, 
2001-2002. What you guys guess over here? Yoo-hoo! What are you guessing? 2002? No, it wasn't 2002, but it, it wasn't 97 either. It was 99, 1999. They, this is their ninth year that they've actually been around. Next year will be their 10-year anniversary. So uh, we're quite blessed here in Victoria. There's a lot of stores on Johnson Street. Many have been around for, for a number of years now. And they've got all sorts of neat stuff. The next thing, though, they don't have, although uh, I've found two flavors of it so far. It's uh, called Hemp Shake. Um, our last, OK, you guys clapped already? OK, well, I'll explain the product first, and then uh, you get your, your, your first guess here. Cause, but. Uh, it's uh, something that uh, I actually bought the first time in Ontario, a chocolate hemp shake. And this one here I bought over in Vancouver. I haven't seen it in Victoria yet, but it's a berry pomegranate hemp protein shake. It's uh, really packed full of essential fatty acids and proteins and all sorts of things that are really good for you, as well as really good tasting. And uh, tonight uh, I'm going to say within one dollar uh, this is our, I didn't explain this very well, but we do a, a Price is Right at the end of every game show, and I ask our contestants to guess within one dollar, again, how much is this pomegranate berry hemp shake? So, what's your guys' guess over here? Eighteen dollars. No, I'm afraid that wasn't it, guys. Sorry. What's your guys' guess over here? How much for the hemp shake? Twenty-four. No, it's it's not twenty-four. Um, I, I've said within a dollar. Um, you guys are are very close. Um, I, I don't want to give it away, or I'll have no multiple choice left when I'm done. But uh, both teams are very close. What you guess? It's twenty-one seventy-five. So there you go. It's, it's worth ten points, but I'm afraid that's just not enough. They beat you by ten points in the end. So. Thank you so much for trying here, guys. I got lots of good prizes for you, but uh, Peanuts Crew has uh, pulled it off, and they're in the finals next week. So congratulations, guys. Right on. And uh, there's uh, a couple things, though, that we have to do before we wrap it up here tonight. And uh, I think the first thing is that uh, I should uh, have our 42 seconds of silence. Uh, each week we put aside 42 seconds uh, for the victims of the war on drugs, those people that have been in jail or are in jail right now for, for growing or selling or using this plant, both here or around the world. And uh, we are very uh, lucky to, to be able to have these meetings and, and smoke our herb and, and for the most part not have to worry or be hassled for it. But uh, it's not something that's uh, a given. And so uh, uh, until this law is gone and we don't have to worry about being arrested and, and we don't have to worry about laws like Bill C-26, we're going to have 42 seconds of silence uh, at each and every one of our meetings. So I give you guys a, a countdown of three, as you all know, and then we have 42 seconds of silence, please. <coughs> so if everyone could please join us for 42 seconds of silence, starting in three, two... two one. Thank you very much, folks, and uh, thanks everybody for, for coming here tonight. Again, uh, congratulations to Tina's crew. We'll see you in the, the championship game next week. And uh, I'd just like to remind everybody again, tomorrow, 2 o'clock at the Parliament Building, uh, Neil is, is having a send-off with the Freedom Tour. And uh, again, next Tuesday, 420, Cannabis Day on the front steps of the courthouse. It's going to be a riot. I hope to see you there. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Have a good evening, and smoke them if you got them.